All right, welcome back to yet another loadout race. Here today, we are starting off with Void Fiend. We've got uh, Corny here with us again today. Hello, hello there. Looking uh, very, very forward to one more battery of the races. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And oh. it looks like, looks like Lava's didn't get the memo yet. <laughs> He's still starting. Um. Anyway, uh, we've got yeah. four racers, all of them. I mean, specifically, I want to point out Klauski and I want to point out um, Lurky. Uh, two really top uh, talents here in the hosting league, right? T both top 10 racers. Um, neither of them have been in any sort of like competition with the uh, loadout races in the past. Uh, and they're doing really good so far. So we'll see if, if one of the two of them are able to pull off another win. Um, I think Klauski's gotten in third place three, or in second place three times, but has yet to win a race. And then Lurky, I think, is has won at least one. Um, but then we got on the left side of the screen, we've got Big D uh, with the, the very small screen, right? Has the, the funny resolution. Um, has gotten close to winning a couple loadouts, but just with a couple mistakes, end up, instead of getting like in second place or third place ended up getting a lot of fourths um but definitely has a lot of potential and then we've got uh lava lucario down at the bottom left has been in a very similar boat to actor right uh just really struggling to, to find that first win but we saw it happen with actor last race so we could see that happen again here with with lava that might be able to come out with the win Oh yeah, more more upsets actually. Speaking from a competition standpoint, I'm actually excited to see on the little bit on the backstage on Lurky. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be. Did I? Did I? Don't remember if I played him though. No. Lurky dethroned you in the top eight, I think. In the, uh... Yeah, yeah. My point. My my very point. <laughs> he kicked me out. <laughs> you you certainly won't be uh, biased at all during this cast, will you? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Just. Yeah, just excited for the Kiwi Titani. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that's Finnish. I love that. I'm guessing Lurky's Finnish. I, I forget. It's one of those northern languages. That mm. More north than I, and I speak English, right? That's... <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking yeah. of speaking of some of the interestings, look at the um, item spreads already. Everybody got the region. Oh, almost everybody. Uh, there is Gomes to be had, and... Well, Gorse Tomes, excuse me. And um, the early speed with the Void Fiend, you gotta love that. Like, if everything else goes wrong, if you don't have access to one of the hundreds of many combinations that you can maybe get a pillar skip, good old speed, the shift, the M2, it's gonna get you there. Yeah. So, yeah, love and to not see that. Only, not only is it like a potential pillar skip down the line, but having good mobility with a Gorse Tome, I mean, look at the stages, right? We've got a Phalian Sanctuary stage too. Which, that oh, stage, I mean, if you had pennies, it's a hard stage to, to penny farm. Maybe with Void Fiend, you can kind of pull it off with 100 armor. Um, but it's a little awkward. But, I mean, there's a Mocha, there's Energy Drink. You're able to traverse a stage. It's a really big stage, too, as well, right? You get to the TP, kill the boss, you get, like, maybe two or three Gorestone drops. That's enough for, like, six, seven chests in total with, you know, the money that you earn through stage two. I think this could be a really fast run for these racers here. Right. At least in the yeah. past early game, you could just speed through with mobility and a Gorse Tome. And Big D using the Gorse Tome to transition first one out of stage one into stage two. Missed, uh, got a ward banner for the troubles, but looking very skin on, skinny on items. Um, I don't know if I like the, the full frontal start. I think Void Fiend is definitely the one that can handle, but... I think it's yeah. okay. Right, yeah. again, I mean, yep. just with all the items, you could get through a stage two, even a stage three essentially itemless is Void Fiend, right? Just such a yep, strong survivor. Yep. You just get to the TP yep. right when your corruption meter gets to 100%, and then you just kill everything, and then it's boom. Uh, yeah, this Void Cradle right here, but again, that Gorse Tome with the speed. Items are gonna be stacking up real fast. And second Void is a Tenta Bottle. That mm -hmm. is an easy take. You already got the, the slow, you get the chance at the, at the root. Maybe Are get working to it to <laughs> Double regen scrap, okay. Yep. Blue blue looking likely here. <laughs> Wait, what was the uh, void on stage one? It was oh uh, void yeah, that's a no. Void that's a, that's the yep. worst thing you could ever pick up on void paint. I would rather have one. I'd rather have like three one than have one crit. 
Just losing crit damage on uh, on Voidfiend. It's a death sentence. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That is that is throw throw if I've ever seen a throw. Oh, there's a HUD. Yeah, I didn't even notice mm. the HUD pickup. That's good. That's really good. Uh, an awesome technique with HUD. You just activate it when you're in corruption mode, and then uh, you can hold it on. And there's an alien head in the large. Uh, uh, Utility chest. Yeah. yeah, utility chest. Thank you. See, this is awesome when I have a code cast here, because I always forget <laughs> uh, the names of things on the spot, and then they can just say it for me. Perfect. Mm. Co yeah, with Ocular HUD, you can, just hold, you can just hold on to the, uh, the what is it, Drown, the M1 ability, and you keep the crit forever, even after the uh, crit is over. Oh yeah. Um, by the way, sir, what is this? That is it. Lurky, the only one with the watches. We are uh, into not the sure. technical we're... buzz. Yeah, we're... yeah, that's tough. <laughs> it's like two hundred forty. Oh. Hopefully, it comes back. back. Oh no, it's still like that. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's back. It's returned. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Alright, go for the gamble of, of not dying. No, it's back to. Come on! Are you kidding me? It was fixed and then the pause happens, and now we're back to this again. Alright, uh, casting what's going on on Big D's screen. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, oh, no. get that I, whistle oh going. Oh my god. Do you ever holy. think of, of it as a, a 5 to 1 ratio? Who knows? But okay. Klauski, unpausing finally. Is able to, good, to good. duck underneath the deal with the wandering vagrant. As finally, uh, uh, finally, finally, Big D's screen is looking <laughs> nice and shiny. Wait, he's got the big screen. Big D got an upgrade. What? Yeah, look at that. Just 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 download some some VRAM. What do you mean? Download more pixels.com. Easy. Look at that resolution. Uh, up at 720 now. Oh uh, nope. yeah. Lost him. Oh no. <laughs> now we're good. Okay. We don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. That happens well, usually nice when someone... It's this Discord glitch. If someone stops streaming and they stream again and you start watching, it'll randomly cut out and you have to, like, click on it. Ooh, Big D swapped key. to streaming OBS. That was recording Roar 2. So, Giga Brain, Giga Plays, problem solved. We are back. Nice. Wait, so... Big D's streaming Risk of Rain 2 off of... Or uh, on... recording off of OBS and then just recording the screen on OBS... Yeah, and then it's streaming the screen on OBS. Yes, and exactly. then this the Discord stream, which is being recorded, which is then being streamed on my OBS. <laughs> this is going through like seven layers, man. <laughs> I'm surprised we could still see it. Uh, anyway. Uh, how, did I, how did I get here? I'm only five. Get me out, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. There's a large chest alien head for Big D. That, is, oh, that looks oh, so nice, yeah. too. I remember Big D saying that there's like a special solution that he had. I told him to just keep the small screen, it's fine. Because it sounded too complicated, and I think it's funny with a small screen, but yeah, this is cool too. Uh, Ocular HUD time, almost, for, for Lurky, down on the bottom right. Again, the favorite, right, the only one of these racers that has ever won a loadout race here in the hosting league, or in general, right, is Lurky. Right, so Lurky would definitely be the favorite to win this overall. As you can see, oh, yeah. saw the Strong HUD, favorite. saw Vagrant, waited to get to 100% on the uh, Corruption Meter to use that. And then once he had it going, Vagrant instantly died. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, is that an is that an APR printer I think I saw? Or oh. uh, am I mistaken? Yeah, I think on, I saw uh, On Big D screen? No, Klauski. Klauski walking Klauski. by, there was a print. Yeah. Mm, Might be, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Might have been a little I, I off. Feel like Might have been a focus crystal. It. Yeah. I feel like you would have gone into it if it was. Oh, I mean, oh. we have seen people skip uh, skip printers as lava in the goes for a ignition tank. Interesting. Okay. I guess it's going to use that with the Molotov for early value. Might find a gas a lean maybe on stage three. Yeah. Maybe Molten Perforator Stage 4. Yeah, it could happen. We right, know, do have we know, chat. Abyssal Deaths. Chat. chat likes the Gamba. We know. We'll see what happens. I mean, that's, again, a huge gamble. To lose three white items. 
right? If there was something like you were saying earlier, it, I, I doubt that's what Klauski saw. But if there is a, an armor piercing round printer or, or something of that quality, right? Uh oh, big D for us. Yeah, we're <laughs> my boy. <laughs> oh man, you see, yeah, don't we start. let everyone in. Oh wait, he's back. He's back. He's good. We let everyone in because I, I don't. I feel like if we let streaming quality and like internet be a, a barrier for a hosting league, a tournament that or a, a league that's going to lead to a tournament where five hundred fifty dollars at minimum are up for grabs, I feel like that would be unfair to be like, yeah, you can do this, but you have to have good internet, and you have to have a good computer. Like, come on. We know what's going on, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, props, could... props to the to the social aspect of that as well, sir. Like, mm -hmm. definitely, definitely got to value the community. Oh, there's an equipment drop. You definitely don't want to give it the ocular HUD. <laughs> uh... The Eye of Sauron. Like, what else do we got on stage two here? I feel that lava is really, really low on the items. Finding it very strange. What is the tensor level called in Finnish? It's the lock. The, the longer. <laughs> longer <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh... Uh... Oh, a death mark. Uh, oh, oh yeah, Penny Farming kills the Wisp. I feel like you could have had them out a little bit more for our uh, Big D screen. Yeah, definitely want to leave those. But um, did they did they loot a little bit? Maybe not the end of the world. Oh, uh, Big D? Oh, oh my god. Oh, Grub Tender. Yeah, careful, Klasky. You are in Corrupted mode, so you have 100 armor, but just taking every single shot there. Right, it's just really can add up and gets hit by the oh, grapple. Oh, oh, Almost oh, dies oof. of fall damage, but you know what's nice? It's 100 armor. And Klauski's going to be fine. Isn't going to have that corrupted mode, though, to finish off the Grove Tender. will have to be in normal mode, where there's no 100 armor. And look at all those enemies. Look at all those tiny little wisps that come out from the Grove Tender. you got to go real far away and just kind of snipe them down. But it's really annoying when there's a mending enemy slowly healing up this Grove Tender. Mm. Right, so every Something... second of being over here and being away and trying to heal up after that incident is, is just more and more time that's going to be added on, more and more risk. Klauski going for the, the tiny little heal in that little uh, mending bubble and ends up losing more health than gaining. Right, The problem with Void Fiend is every time you choose to press R and heal, you lose 25% of your corruption meter. And Yeah, just no real AoE to be seen here. And honestly... At that point, I don't know, something something about the hosting league and the mendings, right? At some of the past videos, you got the really, yeah. really stressed about the mendings. I forget who it was. To... I think it was Liam, who ended up having, like, this pocket medic on stage one. Hi there, there was this little beetle, this little mending beetle, that was hiding in a bridge, like, above a bridge that he couldn't reach. And it just kept healing and healing and healing and healing the stage one TP boss. And it ended up healing probably for like four or five thousand health throughout the whole fight. That is absurd. And he couldn't get up there because he had to leave TP boundary for it. And it wouldn't like walk down because it would just keep pathing back and forth, just hovering up there. You remember There's an AP what printer? There is was. an AP printer oh, on stage. Uh, there is on Lurky stage three. Yeah. Lurky Wait, gets only oh. two, but sees a scrapper. It's like, oh, okay. Ooh. What's up? Okay. 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 I've got three watches right now. I can now get some AP rounds. We were talking about AP printers earlier, right? That choice that Lava Lucario did to take the ignition tank, to lose three white items, will now be three items less when he gets to stage three, assuming that he finds that, right? So we'll really have to, to make up one ignition tank to, to make up 60% uh, uh, yeah. more damage against bosses. Yeah, a lot of the gamble, none of the return. Actually, this is this is complicated. I mean, obviously, who takes, who gets more scrap for the the more AP, basically makes it percentage faster. The more you go, uh, that is <laughs> six. I mean, so and you have an ocular on too, a hundred percent crit. There's one focus crystal in there. You've got movement speed. You got three watches, six APR rounds. I mean, let, let's do the math. One hundred sixty uh, or one point six. Uh, what is it? multiplied by 2.2? What is that? 1.6. Yeah. Okay. Pull out a calculator. I can't. Well, oh my god! While well, I'm mathing, Lava Lucario takes a death from. Yeah. I'm not sure. 
embracing the void it says embrace the void somehow died oh wait is so Kalowski is 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 full blinding did yeah yeah the scrapper my god thank you there's I, a blue on was... Bigby. oh no <laughs> oh 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 has yeah, yeah look how easily the rookie's taken out this this boss on stage three right just giga damage Right, you see Big D, Deathless, on stage four, has a bloom, has Alien Head for decent mobility. Alien Head's also going to be a really easy pillar skip. Has Ocular HUD. Um, oh, there's a Gasoline. Okay. So there's there there's Lava Lucario's return three stages later. Uh, Klauski's also going to find that printer. I mean, I guess if, if Big D rolls big, right, what we know about... Uh, uh, Benthic Bloom in the hosting league is it's not like uh, Risk of Resources unfortunately we're using the pu uh, public version of the mod where Bloom is not seated right so we're going to see some totally random outcomes if two different people get uh, Bloom um, could get spare drone parts and then get like an Empathy Core on stage 5 right and then just have just like pure RNG into a, a god run right that the others might not have that's going to be Big D's huge advantage, potentially. But if Big D doesn't roll good, if Big D just gets like Aegis and other stuff, and Lava Cario really taking a lot of shots, taking a lot of fall damage every time he's using a shift, sprinting while using a shift, and then just, just mm. collapsing as a result, uh, ends up having to use all of the, the charge buildup for, uh, for healing. Look at, look at that Molotov ignition tank value, sir. Yeah, it's like the one Look time I've that. seen Molotov give value. <laughs> Which is true. I mean, it's it's decent AoE. Oh, there's a Molten Perforator Stage 4. Okay, so that's also oh. Ignition Take value. I want to call it, you know, 3 APR's worth of Ignition Take value. Oh, it gets behind the Shift. spike. Saved <laughs> by the spike. Huge My play. My god. Yeah, yeah. The Lava Lucario really, still really cutting it close. Up. We like the confidence. We like the confidence. Oh. That is nice. Oh. Oh. Right. oh. oh. Oh my god. Almost got screwed yeah. over by the Corruption form. <laughs> He's going to be able to take out the stage 2 boss. Gets his... Tenta bobble. Tenta, yes, yes, yes. Um, Sir, looking at the some of the item differences, I'm thinking here, what do you, what do you figure? Is it 8 APRs, the watch, or the 6 AP, 3 watches? I like the 6, th uh, six and 3 combo, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. 1.2 times... You know, is it like 2.6? Get... I mean, you, I don't, I'm not sure what the math is on that, but that's like a little over 3 times damage. All right, you get a little bit more value uh, if you're Lurky. I, what I like about Lurky is he's been on this stage a little bit longer. Uh, um, there's the... Uh, I think that's the Benthic Bloom right there. Do you take it? I mean, you don't want to lose all that damage mm -hmm. items. Probably not. Right, The only person mm -hmm. that you would who would want to take the Benthic is the one who took it. Uh, yeah. Dig D. yeah, agreed. Oh, uh, don't Definitely. take it. Oh! I mean... Yeah. Probably, probably not a good idea. If you lose those APRs, it's just like, okay, I'm gonna pick up those Benthic, and there's a huge chance that I will do half the damage to Mithrix that I do now, right now. Yeah, I mean, the, the only go really go for the Benthic if you're looking for a headset, if you're looking for a like a, a spare drone parts, even if you're going for let's say a Clover somehow and still keep some items. Um, it's very all over the place, so. Kind of hard reasoning. They have a solid build. It, it it does feel a little bit of a throw, but who knows? You know, it's a it's a good idea until it's a good idea, and when it's a bad idea, hindsight something something. Yeah. <laughs> Lava just really far behind with the others, right? Full looted stage one took the sign to scrap planet like a full loot run. You can do that and technically still get in first place, right? Assuming you're finishing mm -hmm. at like the the 60, 70 minute mark. Yeah, that's a sprint. You got to be careful sprinting with that shift. Especially if we've been speed items. Mm. There's a double bloom. Double bloom. Double Big D bloom. Oh my god. Oh my god. I kind of wish Big D had a blue <laughs> portal. You could just like get the double hit. Um, yeah, I, I, I ain't ready for this. Oh my god. Oh, perfect. At, at zero dollars. Hopefully it doesn't pick anything up. You can just instantly leave. Oh, okay. okay let, yeah, let, let's see, chat. Let's see. You like some good bloom Maybe rolls? Let's see. All right. Oh, well, that's ice lame. band, nice. ice band, but loses watches, two watches. Uh, well, honestly, was worth. it two watches? 
Loses the yeah, syringe. The oh god, takes a huge hit. Does not see the bottom of the ground there. Look out. Gets the ignition tank to off of uh, from Molten Perforator. Loses the sticky bomb for that. Harvester Scythe. Uh, I guess it's not too big a deal. And gets a Yuke yes, in into Yuke. That That is value as well. That is value. Yeah, if you get a uh, Polyloot in that too, right? Get good damage. Yeah. Always on the lookout for the pot link poly. Um, overall, good rolls. I feel that keeping all the speed was the main point here, honestly. Yeah. And yeah, because otherwise, then you're kind of going to be coping in a bad spot. Don't, <laughs> I yeah, can't the open the rusty key. key. But while that happens, while we weren't paying attention, Klauski with a plus five does only lose the one watch. Suddenly, I, I kind of feel like the, the, the eight and one was better because, well, you know, Klauski died. Well, and he knew, still he has knew good a damage. Bit. But down a death, and that's going to be good for Lava, who is also down a death, right? Lava's going to need a lot of help, though, being on stage three to be able to have a comeback. But but, but Klauski, the current holder of 10th position, right? really trying to, to, to prove his skill, to prove his value, right? You want to try and get in the top eight to have that first round buy in the tournament. And, I mean, you can... You gotta just avoid those deaths, right? It's really when you're on the line like this, and I'm sure you feel it. You're feeling the pressure too, uh, corny. But oh yeah, yeah. You know, every death and everything <laughs> just adding up to this larger picture here in the hosting league. Thankfully, finds a watch after the fact. I mean, Klauski died after the TP was charged. I don't know if it was like a void touched uh, uh, hermit crab. Oh, my oh God. a single overloading Lemurian. <laughs> That is, yeah. Sorry, sorry for that. Uh, you were keep, you were keeping good, Klauski. Yeah, very. You're keeping good. Um, somehow, like the bloom actually paying off here. Um, Big D really well positioned. The the, oh, the grand pair. really oh. well positioned. But there's a soulless control unit that just knocks him up. And How now, did that happen? Uh, slow circle. I think it just wasn't dead yet or something. Molten perforator yeah. though on grandparents equals insta death. Yeah, and red whip. Ooh, that's good for skipping. Ooh. Like Indeed. that. So Big D has some outs here on the next bloom rolls. We'll keep tabs on that. All, all while that was happening, sir. Excuse me, Klauski coming in with some vand action. Mm. So yeah, mm. I actually like it here. A little bit of crowd Ooh, control band. helps I with like the merge. No. The sad thing is with Klauski with the the uh, the, uh, the capacitor now, right? It's like. You know, you don't have any other bands and, and stuff, right? I mean, oh, Big yeah, D has the yeah. double ice band. I feel like if Big D has something like that, that could, be, that could be good. But the ocular HUD, right? If you had an ocular HUD, and then you get in Corrupted War, and then you void ban Mythrix, so he's just stuck, and he's getting molten perforated and everything, and there's a feather on, Kla uh, uh, on Klauski, a feather on Lurky. Wow. Didn't notice those pickups. Neither just one was recent. But they're just like, yeah. really close in real time. Right, Klauski's just going to need to have Lurky mess something up. And also is going to need to have Big D, like, lose everything. Right, Big D could, could either roll high or roll low. And depending on that roll, is going to uh, mean a lot in the long run. As, and here we go. Big D's going to oh. go through. Will he keep his Big bands? D believing. <laughs> My god. Uh, what a rush. I, I would have gotten a little bit more trash there to favor the rolls, but let's see. Take us there, sir. Oh my, oh, oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my big D. It doesn't even matter if you go for all of these armor piercing rounds and all of these watches, because apparently it was bait when you roll and keep your band and have spare drone parts and stompers, right? Doesn't have any drones for this uh for the, the, the drone parts, so maybe that's not too important, but head stompers and has two ice bands. Wow. Okay. Okay, the, the the quick point here is the head stompers off of the bandolier and the spare drone parts off of the warhorn. Those are massive rolls. I cannot believe this, man. The drone part streak continues. It just keeps yeah. coming <laughs> and finding itself in, in strange and mysterious ways. It comes back and now suddenly Big D, who appeared to be not necessarily the favorite to win this loadout. My current favorite was, was Lurky earlier. My favorite was Lurky about one minute ago. And now looking at these items, I think it's very clear that we're going to have a very easy victory for Big D as oh. long as Big D doesn't mess up. 
Wow. Yeah, a little a little bit of pressure there on the the first host skip. Uh, went a little forward. Actually, has a lot of speed with the uh, the red whip. So oh, yeah. got a little bit off there. Didn't adjust, but we'll be going shortly, I guess. Let's see. You gotta look for Oof. the rock. The rock that you can't find. Oh yeah. I'm... I can never find the rock when I do the skip. Oh, Big D's going way too far back. You gotta go a lot for the, uh, forward. There we go. Nope. Yep. 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 Like where Big D's running, you have to just stand where the the floating rocks are and then look at the uh, the oh. rock towards the bottom. Nope. All right, quick, you're Slide lagging. Jump. Go open up the console. Type in no clip. How's your chance? Klauski also freezes here. I think this might be uh, on Breach's end. Yeah, this, this Breach has a little bit of internet troubles. Oh. There we go. Still oh. messing up the uh, host skip. Uh, timeout's called. After everything's getting a little bit... Oh, wait, no. Uh... Nope. nope. Breach debating if he wants to. Decides it's time. Timeout's called. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta unplug and plug back in the, the router, you know. Right? Imagine if, you know, a few gunner turrets, or not gunner turrets, uh, you know, just a couple random drones were picked up. As, oh, Klauski had another skill issue. It says skill issue whenever Klauski breaks watches. Oh. Uh, in Oof. case you missed it. And speaking of skill issues, Big D just really struggling. Like the fourth or fifth attempt on this, uh, the stomper variant of the skip, you have to hold spacebar down. You have to not have your corruption meter get to 100%. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, and you have to be nice. a little bit. I think he's just going to go with the uh, the alien head skip here. Yep, 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 yep. Good oh, call, no. good call, actually. Oh, wait, nope. no. Doesn't go for it. What? Honestly, just alien skip at this point. Yep. I mean, all this, all just this losing... advantage goes just too far so backwards. Much time. You want to use yeah. the little floating rocks. Big D is going to have a trip to the to the oh. YouTube oh, channel of Cap. God. And oh my god, while I'm talking about Cap's YouTube channel, Klauski here, down to 18 health, dealing with these tiny little wisps. Still has a lot of TP to charge, and we've seen this before with Klauski. We're just dealing with those small little enemies and getting harassed in the TP takes a death. It has to pause oh, just to take a moment to breathe, yep. to, to understand that being so close, almost all the enemies were taken care of in a situation that should have been fine. It's now really far behind, and Lucario, again, gonna need some even more of that. He was still on stage three, just entering stage oh. four. Gonna need a little bit of help. Did did Lucario find anything else like much different? I don't think so. Maybe a little bit of the 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 mapping issues, trying to look every nook, every cranny, get it until you actually get comfortable, especially with the plus five. Yeah. Maybe just to finish. Uh, well, let's see here. Mm, just full looting, taking it slow, playing it safe. Yeah. The strat's okay to do. You just if you die two or th like two or three times, even that can mean everything. Yeah. Uh, Void fiend is a notorious one for giving us the sub thirties. Um, even yeah, Big D looking at a, a twenty eight is almost done with the phase one. Um, I mean, I uh, don't want to be celebrating out there, but Big D looking to close this out in a strong fashion. <laughs> uh huh. There's even death mark on there. Oh my god. Oh Death my mark God. on Big D. From what? Fire damage? Ice damage? Is there bleed? Yeah, there's bleed in there and Tenta Bobble. Yeah, that would do it. Yeah. I, what I would like to see more from Big D is just stay in your non corrupted form and just do one shift. Oh, yeah. You have head like stompers. Stomp yeah, just stomp just all go the way. Up. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, hit him. Minus oh, two well. bands. Oof. Yeah. And that speaking of bands, uh, a Lurky took a huge hit. And as I was talking about, right, you don't oh, want to lose those yeah. bands. And, and and now Lurky almost looking at a death here. Despite things looking so... Now we're looking in the past at least so strong for Lurky. Suddenly, Big D Wigdy, full name, brought out here. It's, it's, the stream lags a little bit and, and Breach is going to take a moment to, to decide whether or not to pause. Uh, takes the time out, goes full cheese. It's okay to go full cheese. It's fine. It's fine. Cheese is fine. Oh wait, no. I think he, I don't think he clicked it. Oh. It's, the, it's a debate. It's See, it's just happening yeah. too much though, and 
it makes the pause right as Klaus will keep it. Klaus keeping against the fight. Lurky's gonna look for a good moment to pause here as there's just so many Shungites. And there we go, that's a safe spot to go. You feel the tension. Yeah. <clears throat> there it goes, quack. We are back. Let's go. Oh, are we back? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on, Big D. Hang in there. Please, no, no slideshow. Truly. Oh, okay. Add that one to the frame. We're getting a calendar. 12 year. 12, 12 year calendar? Oh, okay. 12 year calendar? Yeah, yeah. For, for a whole solar year, right? Exactly. The one that you actually actually measure with the speed of light or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we are... Oh, that was a nice stomp, by the way. You get a little freeze there. There is singular Chimera on Big D. Mm. Oh, no. Spoke too soon. Exploder. So, at this point with the race, considering bonus points... Right, we've got Lurky, who's going to probably want to loot a little bit, having lost those watches, not feeling as powerful as, as he once was. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Is the only other one deathless? Is it still in stage five? So needs to, to catch up fully to where Big D's at in the course of 10 minutes to deny any bonus points. Um, let's see if we get some form of a game changer. I don't think it's looking likely. The... Like, if you gamble on the watches when you lose that, um, yeah. you have been set back so far. You know, you know what's funny fight. is yeah. okay. I mean, that was kind of funny with the the mid air conversion stomp, but Big D having not gone into the watches, having not really gone into the uh, oh, that's a death level on Lucario. Now at two, death to to fall damage right yeah. on, beside the feather had just opened the the. the oh my god! Tragic. Chest, you get it. Yeah. You find a feather. And as you see the feather, you just fall to your death. Oh, man. It's like you fall out of a plane and you forget your parachute. Right there. What could have been. Oh, that Void Jailer's just really harassing him, too. But while that's happening here, I mean, oh. Big D's going to need to die, takes a swipe. But Mithrix is, is on its way to next pizza. There's barely any ads. Again, only 30 minutes in real time. Not too bad. A little it's, bit of war Things are lagging value. up a bit. Oh, oh my god. Is that pizza going to hit? Oh, no, it I doesn't. So. No. Oh, well, oh my god. He's <laughs> like, oh, no. And Breach is like, all right, we can't have that. We're missing deaths. The Big ending is moments man. before disaster. <laughs> Um, would you like to right. search for for the comeback or something? I don't know how uh, much. It, it's oh, back oh, now. It's oh. back. We're good. We're good. Beautiful. As not much has changed, and we just gotta live with it. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> okay, I want the I want the stomps. Big D, Big D, my boy. Stomp, Big D. All right, freeze frame. Okay. I want to see like a freeze frame. Oh. In midair, and then I want to see Mithrix just already yeah. dead. Just... There we go. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. The Perforator? Nope. Okay. Honest. Honest. Honest finish. Honest finish. Just Honest go. finish. Still going to get first place, most likely. Right. Unless Big D dies here yeah. in phase four. Oh, yeah. It's going to be stuck with M1. That's not corrupted. Uh, Lurky's at 15 health, and there's Shungai. Oh god, look out. Don't die. This is terrifying. <laughs> why? Why? Why cutting it so close? Okay. Why tempt the... My god. Oh, Lava found the uh, Venthic as well. And has to type it in. Venthic Gambit. Yeah. Lava, just wait until you find the second one. <laughs> wait, go, d go double in. It's ready. We get to I'm see some more Benthic the... action here. I'm excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is always a good one. <laughs> right, because it's a little bit different here, right? It's it's completely random. You get to play the water here in the hosting league. Sometimes you luck out. Sometimes one person gets the stompers and you get the, the Aegis. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you're the only one that didn't actually find the stompers off yeah. of the 1% chest. So. Oh, my God. Big D's about to die. Big D's at 28 health. What happened? I don't know. Was was Big D using the uh, the R ability to, to heal, not knowing that it was actually doing damage? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you don't take fall safe. damage. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Honestly, just 
Oh man, I mean, one of those walls and, and Big D takes another death. And if Big D takes another death, then suddenly, I mean, in terms of real time... No, I don't think anyone else could beat him. Oh, I mean, Worky could. Has eight of the... Uh, 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 what are they called? Armor piercing rounds? Armor that's, piercing that's rounds, term, yeah, yeah, the APR. That is, a, that is speed, command. but honestly, is it enough? I don't... No, it's not. Yeah. Maybe with the Molten Perforator procs we could see something like that, but I definitely expect it to at least be like a, a, a four or five minute, you know? Maybe put the one minute back to the ship or something. Yeah. Um, I mean, Klauski's going to be able to deny a bonus point at the very least, assuming that Klauski doesn't die here, right? 230 health Mythrix is going to go for another slam on the ground. Hassel avoid those orbs. Oh. Jumps right okay. over him, gets the armor. piercing rounds back. Is feeling pretty good. Doesn't have the void ban on him. Said it's on Mythrix. That's a dead Mythrix. And oh, it's gonna be close. I don't know. Class is not gonna be able to deny uh, both bonus points. We'll definitely be able to not deny one though. Yeah, I don't think. I think. Yeah, Big D getting the the one bonus point on a strong loadout such as Void Fiend. As of yeah. now, as a what is that? Thirty five forty. 3440? No, 30, I think it's a, wait, 30, 3540, I think. Wait. 30, ah. Uh. Man, it's so blurry. Wait, no, 39, 39, 39, 40. Oh, yeah, 39. Oh, my God, we almost just really brought it back. Yeah, 39, 40. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it's actually uh, five minutes faster. Numbers, Double numbers. Bonus points. Yes. <laughs> I'm totally, totally not biased against Klauski. You want to... <laughs> move up in the ring. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, time to first. I think I'll be like. There we go. Yeah. Well. Wait. Wait. Is. Oh, yeah. Lurky. Yeah, Lurky didn't get the, the Stompers. Is not comfortable with just the right amount of speed and the alien head. And the red whip, maybe that could have been a, a, a quicker time to just opt into the the. I don't know it. I don't think it. I will just be yeah. active. Gotta love that. Gotta respect that choice. Actually, sometimes you're too much in your head. Honestly. I mean, double double. If you're gonna go all the way over here, and it's oh. just double design, and you have pretty good damage. I mean, he's, he's charging them fast, right? The time that it would take from to do oh. the the whole pillar skip. Yeah. Is, oh, um, a little bit. Oh, I, wait, I'm in I'm in this scene, so I can do this. Oh. Yeah. Can I can I just say that lava got Did it get bounced? <laughs> yeah, got capped. Capped into the ground, gave the worm a little kiss, uh lost the watch. Oh man. Uh almost wait, died you call again that, because you call that getting capped? That's yeah, got a I term saw cap. I... That's got a term way before what happened to Cap. That's getting hurt. Hurt? Yeah. <laughs> And there we go. Oh, Lava man. finally gets the uh, the molten perforator as it uh, pops off. There we go. Love to definitely. See it. Oh wait, hurt just from safe. a dead worm. My bad. You gotta you gotta get hit from a dead worm for it to be like the worm dies, but <laughs> as it's dying, it's still oh, yeah, it's a hit yeah. hurt box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the the hurt box. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the hurt box. Okay, okay, I see that. <laughs> There's a perfected chimera wisp harassing Lurky right now. Lurky, who it's actually impossible for him to get first place at this point, so we'll go ahead and put up uh, time yeah. to yeah. deny one bonus point. Uh, yeah, because wait, is it? Yeah, the the, the, the second time forty. Yeah, right, a little bit faster than what uh, Klauski had. It's gonna have to be yeah. a really quick run. Uh, I'm actually gonna put uh, time to second right beneath that. Which is 40, uh, 45.58, is that? I think that's what the time says, yeah. Yep, yeah. looks looks accurate. So we'll get that on there. Um, those are the times to, to look out for, times to think about. And Lurky, having done pillars, acquires 50 curse, but gets to make it to the mythic site. Here. Yeah. We go. Yep, I really doubt 
yeah, that the t the the two minute climb, but but getting their full health that would have been nice. Either way, solid. Let's see how the 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 damage is. You think you think Lava's gonna go for the legendary um oh, stage four? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. If you're gonna have ten thousand dollars in your 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 money account, right? Yeah. You're going for it. Oh, I thought. Oh, actually, I thought was actually, <laughs> actually, I, a, apparently they did get it. It is a hard light. Oh, it's a hard light. That's an easy skip. Wait, yeah, you have hard light right? and you have alien ahead. I mean, you could just like, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like you're going up. <laughs> yep. And you know, we can funny, see some Benthic, Benthic time. All the oh. speed items. Turn. Bring it. Oh, ukulele okay. from Syringe. Yeah. We got Bandolier from War Banner. So, somehow equally unimportant. And watches turn to Predatory Instinct. Which, if you had like the Ocular HUD, that could be kind of cool, maybe at least. But, hey, I mean, if you're in Lava Shoes, already taken a couple deaths at three now. It's no. not too bad for that to happen, because at least, you know, if you die, you're not going to lose your predatory instincts, right? Indeed. Indeed. Oh, and Lava's uh, like a death mark, too. That's good. Oh, the... Yeah, the Molotov is actually the, the free burn. If it doesn't hit, then you get the bleed, you get the slow, and you get the... Yeah, the, yeah, the tentative. Did Lava find the Ocular HUD on stage 2? Surprised he stuck with the, uh, the moat. I don't know if he's like trying to justify picking up the, uh, the, <laughs> the extra ignition, yeah. ignition tank, right? It's yeah, like, no, oh, no, well, no, I gotta get the value from the thing that I had. It's gotta pay off, right? Yeah, let him cook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear I saw Lava go for a few other equipments earlier. Oh, yeah. By the way, chat giving the shout out, actually. Thank you. Um, good damage on Lurky is started phase two, 41 minutes. Oh, yeah, I mean, time for second, I think, is definitely possible for Lurky. Time to deny definitely. bonus points. I don't... It's really going to have to be fast. And Lurky's going for the the top of the 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 ramp technique. Yeah. It's really good for just getting cover against the Wisps. Um, it's probably, like, the best strat. I never really started doing that until I started seeing some of the other racers do it. It's like... Yep. I would I would call it the other form of ramp cheese, right? None of the yeah. golems or anything can hit you. <laughs> You're just safe. Yeah. And then you just kill the wisps. And, like, you can kill the wisps without golems shooting at you. You can kill them without exploders shooting at you. Like, it's oh, yeah, given, really powerful. <laughs> like, given that you have some range, so a little bit of that, a little bit of, a bit of that cheese goes to the infinite thing that you have on, like, Uncorrupted V, you know, the M1? Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah. And look how fast Definitely that viable. Was. I would actually, uh, yeah. I mean, you got to be on ship by about 30 or about 44 minutes, right? Two minutes to get onto ship. If, I mean, if Lurky maybe did a mm. maximum D DPS at all times, doesn't die and gets a phase four skip. But that's about them, it. Yeah, them be a lot of things that need happening. <laughs> now, what I can definitely see is at 46 minutes, right? Lurky not dying any times at all so far, right? Klauski with the double death. Um, giving him a chance, giving him some time to be able to just play it safe, play it. Oh, oh well, this yeah. is RNG yeah. if you die or not. Oh, It's oh. so hard to see, oh. and there it is. Oh. Oh. That's a death, and unfortunately with that death, getting knocked out so far away, yeah. being barely even able to tell what's happening. Um, a death happens, and that will solidify Klauski and Big D. So we can go ahead and, and pull up time to complete. Still plenty of time till 79 minutes uh, to be able to, to finish this run uh, for both of our racers here. All right, so that's another 22 minutes for Lava and another like half hour for, uh, for Berkey here. We could start handing out some points as we oh. look at things. Big Maybe D coming out swinging. Four points. Yeah. That's swinging from the underdog. And then Klauski with the retaliation on the Lurky hitting upward as well. Oh, we get we get a lot of action from below, if I might say. Yeah, GG. 
Yeah, it's been the underdog day. All right. And we'll see what can happen next loadout as it's looking pretty <laughs> solid. That that poor lava here at the, the bottom left. Um, yeah. mm. Lava Lucario used rest to this loadout, right? He's, he's building up for, for what's to come. Gotta just restore. Mm. I don't think Lucario can learn rest, but it is right now, right? Gotta You gotta <laughs> mentally prepare yourself for, for loadout too. Uh, at this point, but look, I mean, we could maybe see the first finish. It right, still has 20 minutes. If uh, Lucario can pull off not dying at all, and just plays the run safe, plays it fine, it's probably going to be a death though, right? Hasn't even activated its teleport at 200 curse. Right, has oh, a lot. Gotta... And, oh, that's going to be death. That's going to be death. Oh. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh. Nope, does not die from the slow oh. circle. There's a lot of wisps yeah. though. No. Oh. It definitely he helps when you have a hard light afterburner. And, and, the, an alien and the alien head. Look at that Rookie. valley, man. <laughs> Is that so sad in chat, I think? So sad or bad? Uh, well, come on. Okay, okay. Q button, Q button. Please Q button. Oh my god, Q button. <laughs> I, I I understand. Yeah, a lot of pressure. Just keep running in circles, bro. Run in circles. Okay, there we go. There's a Zai now? So when was our Zai oh. for, for oh. poor Lucario, who's not only stuck airborne, but has to like learn to land the shift properly. Oh my god. Had the feather though. When you die midair with the the mod, you keep you get all your feathers back, so you get all your extra jumps. It'd be funny oh, if someone like nice. skipped pillars if they had like five feathers and they just jump five times and die to a wisp and jump five times and <laughs> I don't think it would work because the wisps only go so high but that would be a weird way to skip pillars to say the least and that, take half yeah. an hour probably be enough but that that would be the the, the gigiest of brains of skips <laughs> uh, it would yeah, be dude, a brain for sure I wouldn't necessarily call it a giga brain was it was it when we were playing some co-op where I think I was playing Huntress and we actually did an FMP bandolier like ballista climb up the tree? Was that with you, sir? I, think I have it a was. Fee I haven't that I have an inkling. Familiar. Yeah. One of the one of the long long and, and, and few times that we played the joyous co-op, but yeah. yeah. You gotta you gotta love the creativity on the on the pillar skips. I mean the especially the speedrunners. Yeah, I feel like bringing Back when we had four pillars that we had to do, it was a lot more, there was a lot more creative ways that people were finding. Because it's like, okay, well, if a pillar skip nowadays takes more than like three minutes to do, just forget about it, right? There's no yeah, point doing yeah, the skip. Yeah. You, you're just, yeah. you might as well do the pillars and, and call it a day. But back when it was four pillars, right, those pillars, you'd only get, you know, you'll get your two good pillars. And then there's like mass or, or, or uh, blood and, and soul, right? Especially the mass pillars, sometimes you're forced to do. Yeah. If there was a skip that would take five minutes, you would opt to do that. <laughs> so you would see things where people would like ballista their way up with Lysate. Or um you know, do the OG pre host skip uh accurate item itemless skip. The OG itemless accurate skip that yeah. gives me like the first time I realized that the alternate shift accurate you actually need like you need a little bit of juice you know otherwise you're not making it oh, those yeah. moments of like hitting the ceiling or something Ugh. and you gotta you had to practice that one like every day to, to even remember it i just remember this 24 hour uh, disputed origin stream from like two and a half three years ago where he was trying to do the skip at the way end of the, the stream and he tried for like 40 minutes <laughs> i was trying to do yeah. item with accurate and just wasn't able to because he couldn't get the skip down. Uh, but yeah, Loki's gonna finish Very up. Tight. I believe it was a thirty-one or fifty-one fifty-four. Uh, finishes up had the one agreed. death, right? Without that one of death, would still be at like a forty-six fifty-four. So still would have lost to uh, to, to Klauski even then. I just had a pretty slow finish and took a, a death there. I guess third, right? It's still a point, and and with the one bonus point being denied by Klauski. Opens up, opens up the uh, opportunity to. Oh, okay, yeah, there's a feather. <laughs> what is going on? 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm watching the the, the, the the jolly full looting, actually. Excited. You gotta be careful. If you have four deaths and you've taken this long in terms of full looting, like... Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you want to go even faster, because, like, at that point, you just have to hold that everyone else has died at least once. Which, thankfully, everyone has, right? So it gives a little... Indeed. Uh, a sliver of a chance of, of being able to get through this. But, I mean, with taking this many deaths and being a little careless as as Lava Lucario has been here, right? You only have so many revives that you can do before you go over the 40 minute mark, right? Standing yeah. at four deaths, you gotta figure out, all right, and how many times can I take 20 curves from fall damage before before I'm, I'm getting really close to it, right? 78 curves, so you clips eight on the board, right? You gotta really pay attention to that stuff, right? You clips eight, one thing it does teach you Right, Eclipse 7 teaches you, like, okay, enemies are attacking fast. Eclipse 5 teaches you, okay, you can't just out-heal everything. But Eclipse 8 teaches you that that just getting kind of nickeled and dimed by the enemies is pretty bad if you're if you uh, get a full loot and take a really long time, right? Because eventually you end up at 100 curse, which goes to 200. And the more curse you have, like, the faster it builds up. If you have no curse, right, it's harder to gain that curse because it takes more damage per curse to be acquired. But once you get to like 20 or 30, it just starts going faster and faster and faster. And eventually, you, know, you have those Topaz Broke is, situations um, where you're taking like 60 curse in one shot. If, if you think about that, um, the exponential kind of co compounding curse buildup, you know, that is a it's a very interesting and very freaky system they actually um, came up with. Uh, yeah. One of my one of my favorites actually. And by the way, can I just point? Um, yeah, Lava, we need... Yeah, still haven't done the telly. Oh, this ain't looking good, dude. <laughs> at least that's the brooches. I mean, the curse is going to be built up really fast, but look at that death mark is coming in. Right, you have Molten Perforator. If you just shoot at the base of a Grandparent with the Molten Perforator, all the Perforators just explode underneath the Grandparent every time it procs, and it just instantly dies. Oh, this sun. Oh, uh, Greedy feels... Eh, he's fine. I mean, like, you can just use your, your shift every time and get out of those little um, gravity wells. Yep. Opting to to stay below, actually, not shoot outside. Um, yeah, you got a little safe spot there, so it's not a bad play. You just gotta look out for behind, right? We we can't hear what uh, enemies are spawning in, but there could be. Yeah, there's like a blazing. Uh, oh yeah, that uh, is alpha that construct is true. there. There's some mushrooms. The parents walking up. Right, and only nine minutes to be able to complete this at this point. Mythrix has to be dead. Phase four Mythrix has to be done. And oh my god, the parent just teleports in. That's going to be out in the Unexpected. open. You got to kill it quick. And no, there's a death there from no. the parent. And I think it's just going to about do it here. Or uh, poor Lava. Yeah. It's going to be at, what, 77 minutes? I mean, it's just... Uh, uh, I mean, at this point, I don't want to call it garbage time, but it kind of is. As one death too many, taking a little too long. Um... Had a pretty okay build. Just you gotta really look out for uh, avoiding fall damage mm -hmm. and, and just avoid building up that curse throughout a, a stage. Indeed. A it's not too late of... for lava, right? I mean, lava can come back here. We'll see what happens if lava can can pull out a, a, a little bit of a different strategy here in loadout two, right? First place is only at four points, so you know with a little bit of help. Even, say, if Big D gets in third place, right? If Lava can get both bonus points, can, can find himself in, in first, going in for a tiebreaker round, right? Play it pretty well. I think Breach is trying to decide, is it possible? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely, like, I think I've been liking about the, the refs is they, they wait for the technical moment, you know? Like, as soon as you have the hit, because you kind of got it, you know? Kind of got to be exactly on the, yeah. the, the loud, you know, to the last possible outcome, the last possible moment. No, I mean, if you're it seems someone's fair. on, like, stage three, though, right, you can calculate, okay, well, even if you get onto the teleport, second one. Oh, we at least get to see one more uh, reroll. Ice bands <laughs> turn into, what was that? Double meat hook? M meat hook? Feather yeah, turned the there's... acid burner. Something has turned to ATG, though. Gasoline. Yeah, like no, that. that's a nice roll. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, of course. We like we like we like our ATGs. AT, ATG is such a cool item. I really enjoy it. Pretty good. Alright, so we'll see. I mean 
Get into the yeah. 78. Has to a minute and 40. Right. To not only get to Mythrix, go through three phases. You never know, right? Might have, yeah. He might have a new technique out that we haven't discovered yet. Yeah, I, I nah, just want to see... No, yeah, it's, no, no, it's breach. Possible. I wanted to see the climb up the tree. <laughs> the two hard, the two hard lights. Save, Damn. Save <laughs> Lava from, from having to think about climbing or, or anything pillar-related. Yeah. It's going to send out the message. And that's going to be GG. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine, Breach. <laughs> uh, just really, really good call. And nice, nice. So GG, Big D again with the high rolls. Double bloom payoff. Like, what a way. And uh, as you said, the Sparts, Spare Drone Parts, Strake continues unhindered. Yeah. So we'll see what can happen here in Loadout 2. But uh, let me go ahead and pull that out now. All right, it's loader time. Land loader again. Let's go. Yeah, I feel oh, like boy. we just. I feel like we just saw this loadout. Like, what's the only difference? It's. It's uh. The no, grapples different. No difference. Oh, we're gonna get. Are we, is it cheese time? Oh, oh my god! I remember this. I remember what happens here. Okay, so Klauski, what ends up happening is I, I got a message about this problem. Nothing mm -hmm. is is there on Klauski's screen except for the cursor. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, since it's so early on, uh, I'm gonna have you resync because I think this takes like 25 minutes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So let me go ahead and just and, and pull ahead. Third time's All the charm right. for Klauski here. Definitely. Has the DLC enabled? Surely. <laughs> Uh, the quack is out, and let's go to the loader. Thunder Punch loader, nonetheless, still on the pylon. I'm ready to see, yeah, some Charge big punch competition, now, actually. But the only thing different from, from the loader loadout we saw in the last race, right? No spikes gauntlet. So if there's a wisp or something out there just kind of harassing you. Right, you've got a pylon, and you've got a Thunder Punch with the little lightning zaps that can, can reach up there, but can't just pull something in. That's my trade. Which I really like that spike uh, fist for that purpose. If there's like a brass contraption or a pest or something just kind of pestering you. <laughs> uh, just, just pull them in. Especially. And zap them in. Oh my god. Klauski? Yeah. <laughs> Klauski uh, used, used some sort of a cheat and just ahead of time it's like, alright. I'm going to spend 25 Damn. minutes with quote unquote technical problems so that I can first yeah. <laughs> item pull the sentient meat hook, uh huh. Yeah, we're we're looking, Klauski. We see what's going on. Stone this Titans out. Awesome. Klauski's already knowing. Uh huh. Awfully suspicious. Can we do a gamble on how many pauses this run? Uh, depends if Cap's still around. I mean, surely Cap is tagging on the loader, but ah, the sentient meat hook just wrecking house. Ah, there's a lot on this stage actually. I'm trying to think. In terms of people that know Loader, uh, I know Klauski can play Loader. I know Klauski's done some of the awkward Loader loadouts. Um, Klauski does a lot of practice with Gauntlet, uh, regardless of, of how cope a certain character is. I know some mm -hmm. uh, some of the racers are like, oh, this is a stupid punch. I'm not going to play this one. Or maybe, like, you know, you die once or twice, and it's like, all right, I'm just going to concede this one. I don't like this loadout. Now, Klauski will play. And... And I remember uh, I used to do a lot of like gauntlet practice on stream, and I'd like give the seeds out and let people try. Klauski would always be there, so I feel like Klauski's gonna have this this punch down pretty well. Um, Big D, maybe I I know Big D in the past has done really good on loader. Um, right, you can see him just going for some knuckle booms, a little bit of lag there, but that's okay. Uh, just a, a bad internet day, right? This was around the time where the uh, magnetic storm was going through, and and who knows, maybe that's affecting the Wi-Fi somehow. Clearly. Um, that is that is that is quite a possibility actually. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I know. My uh, my GPS was messing up the other day because of it. Mm -mm -mm. I get those. Uh oh. There's a cube. I, I yeah. And cube is that two us. double crowbar? Double crowbar yeah. bottom left lava Lucario. If you're gonna have yeah. any advantage, if you're gonna have any chance of really making a difference and coming back from being at a DNF zero points, this is gonna be it right here. 
I haven't seen a uh, lava's loader yet. We'll see if uh you know he's he's quite the fighting type that he that he claims he is here, right? Already gets the stone titan down to half health. Almost instantly annihilates that uh overloading pest with just one lightning zap. But you gotta be careful. You know, stone titans, I'll I'll date this video by saying they're they're dubiously accurate, right? <laughs> And you gotta watch out for that dubiously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be like, okay, fine. date this this Risk of Rain 2 content, and then listen for the word dubious. And right there, it's like, all right, oh, that's shortly after the uh, the, the trailer. What do they call it? The Dev Diary this time around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The inkling on the DLC. <laughs> Yeah, Breach is uh, up in Alaska as well, so if there's going to be any difficulties, it's going to be up there, right? Oh, Breach is in Alaska. That is a bit of information I was not ready for. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll send Breach, like, uh, information, like, an update for, like, asking for times at, like, 11, 12 my time, and it's maybe, like, 5 a.m. for him. So he's, he's oh. more than sick and tired of, of getting pinged at when the sun's <laughs> still down. I guess I'd still be up there. It's, like, 24-7 sun. Oh, the, uh, the little lightning, or, um, Thunder Punch? The Slam. Yeah, no, oh, no, Thunder Slam, slam yeah. 2,000% yeah, uh, yeah. damage. 1.0 yeah. proc. Really, really good. Um, that's really good. Even even a Yuke just hitting for the, the 70%, actually amazing. Um, and, wait, how? How is Lurky the first person to hit to, 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 to Telly? <laughs> Uh, Lurky just finished off stage five and or stage one immediately with stage two, and it pays off. Oh, look at that! Look at yeah. that PST missile launcher, the Pacific Time Zone missile launcher. Easy. Stage one boss item, really, really good. Yeah, it's gonna be another timeout as the lag is just really mm -hmm. kicking up. Mm -mm -mm. The great nation of Brazil. Brazil mentioned at every moment, and we are back, actually. Really, though. Oh, Mr. Gamer, sir. What are we looking at? The play-by-play? -play? Well, we get the crusty key over there on Klauski. Uh, looking if see if that pays off. With the sentient meat hook, actually, if we get a polylid or something, that is going to be massive. Um, I lack... Oh, the crowbar printer. That is huge. Surely. Surely you get a crowbar. Oh, man. I'm wondering, is Lurky going to be able to go back to that? Maybe not. Um, At this point, this is very free, very easy. You get the gas, you get the watch, you get the ATG. You, for some reason, do not have the Warhorn, which we get there on Lucario. Actually, Massive, get the, the flow of the knuckle booming going. Crowbar and Crit Printer, yeah. I mean, Cap, come on. This is, this is the time for the signature half and half, I'm guessing, you know? 50 <laughs> 50 split right down the middle oh something like that yeah Bag. everyone's we got the back, atg sir. everyone's doing real good i mean the only person hasn't gotten the tp and, and gotten the atg yet right is is, wow. is lava car but no but sir yet. i would like i would like to point you to the crusty key up there on klauski oh and crusty key uh, I, i'm no. reading a chat right now i see apparently there's a crit printer there's a crowbar printer if you could yep, stay here yep, for yep. a little long right i mean i'm crowbar and crit printer i'd be willing to give up that watch even just go 50 50. oh no no, no the troll ah. Ah. moments <laughs> like this man hmm. oh well we're good we're going back it's a quickie yep. good all right Oh, the potential. Oh, come on, hang on there, Lurky. <laughs> Surely. There we go. That is the key. Was that the only one? That looks like oh, the Big only D's one. Oh, Big D's back to the other resolution. We what? got we got the the OG cam back. It's here. Oh, there we go. Big D lose the gas. Now it's time. Classic. Just go. Yeah. Full send. Oh, keep going. Oh, oh wait. Actually, yeah. You don't want to. I mean, you could try and gamble that for the. Uh, 
the PSG, PSG, but, but, but yeah, you got but a fair, punch, fair. APR, you got yep. a crowbar, all that. In, in different damaging items uh, are multiplicative off of one each other, another, right? Indeed. They don't add like the same spread. coefficient. And that is... Oh, no. Lysate. Oh. We Exotic. saw this before. We saw Lysate yeah. when there was the Prey on from Stage 3. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think it's okay to pick up Lysate here, right? There's no guaranteed prey on. It's good AoE damage. Mm. For a lot of these racers, they don't have the meat hook. As oh, yeah. two of them, almost side by side, five second difference. Huh? Can I? Right, can I just Both say, rules. getting that Lysate, even a like more extended case for actually going half and half on the crit and crowbar printer, but eh. Are you kidding? Oh, well. Big D is opting to not pick up the encrusted key box that's right next to spawn. Or right oh, next to TP. No. Now that's interesting. Because with that, right, you could option A, just opt not to get it, and maybe it's like garbage. Right? And then mm. you wait till next stage when no one else has the encrusted key and you pick it up, and then it's like boom, super good. Right? Big D's at four points, but could go for even more, can try and play a little funny like this. Personally, if I was at four points, I would just pick it up immediately. Right, take the oh, yeah, easy, yeah. safe option. Oh, it's oh frozen. God. Gets hit by a bunch of oh, alpha constructs. Oh, and oh. Big D, almost dead, does have a slug. Does have loader regen. Look at that. Look at the health regen with the PSG. It's like mm -hmm. four health per second, pretty much. It's pretty good. But doesn't have the charge oh. gauntlet. And it's like, ugh. it's like, it's like your little brother trying to, trying to beat you up, right? You can hardly yeah. even make the swings. That is, that is a certified Shungite moment. I love Shungite. <laughs> Gotta pay the respects. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he is uh, big in danger. Is, oh my god. I mean, you have loader regen, that's like two health per second. But there's wisps and stuff, you're only at 50 health. You have an opal, opens up the uh, the lockbox. Right, really low on health. You gotta be careful if you're lava now. You haven't even activated the TP. And this is something I feel like we're seeing time and time again with Lava Lucario four weeks into the hosting league. Right, Lava will, will do a lot of risky plays and, and take a lot of curse, take a lot of damage before even getting to the TP. Right? And just sets up for, for these these really rough situations. We'll see, you know, if you can, you can pull it out, pull it off. There are advantages to like immediately opening stuff, right? If it's for really good payout. Right, then you're good but you gotta really be be careful when, when playing like that and we'll see what can happen I... here there's a chest in the way corner no one else is gonna find the energy drink okay i mean i no do like i do like the key the key greed i think that trigger like trigger discipline is something that should be exerted uh maybe you get a multi-shot with the key in there then you're just like getting more and more potential for the voids that's true. If you do find one after, I just felt, I mean, you do have an ATG, you do have the crit, but Xi constructs are scary, right? With this punch. Mm, yeah. Yeah. They're terrifying. Just getting prone midair and then there's four alpha constructs shooting at you? Yikes. Certified golem moment. <laughs> Fuel cell into to Lysate right there. Oh. No equipment yet, still. Again. And oh my god. Yeah. Was yep. that I didn't accurate? Get the time. Was that an accurate Titan? I, I, I dare say dubiously accurate, sir. Uh, yes, of course, Sadly, of for for Lucario. Yeah. Oh my god. Klauski's also not opening up the encrusted key box. This is some discipline here. Yeah. Right? They, they're <laughs> like, like ah, I'm going to be yeah, the one to yeah. do something different. Which I feel like in Klauski's shoes might be a, a bit smarter of a play, right? Big D can kind of play it a little more slow, a little more. I guess maybe it's, it's the slow play is to do what, what, right? You don't pick it up, maybe find the key later. The risky play might be to immediately pick it up. I mean, what did what did uh, first, first did Lurky utility even get chest. the key? I don't think he did. Wait, uh, no, no, he's just he's just full sending. Oh, this is interesting. Does not have the key. Does not have a reason to greed. It wait is no no way wait. Is that an ATG printer? Where? What? On who? On Lurky? What he he he's printing greens. He printed a couple greens. Or a cool hat. I don't know. I don't know why. Oh, I'm curious now. Sorry. Let's see. It's something. I think those are ATGs. 
but you gotta get to him and that punch is just so weak you saw Lurky go for the punch and it's just like it doesn't even reach anywhere close to the elder it's like oh my god I love thunder punch and you have to like swing around like that and then use the thunder punch and it still only lasts for like a fifth of a second it's like I'm going so fast but my fist is out can I just hold the fist out is the thunder punch can I only have my fist now for, for half a second come on yeah. oh by the Lurky's way Lurky's typing in chat I, I don't know what that was in console it, it's hard to read it. It's yeah. No, I, I'm looking at the polyloot difference here that Big oh, D yeah. and Klauski are pulling in from stage three. They Aww. they hold the trigger discipline. They wait for the key. Don't find anything, but when they open it, there you go. Bam. Polyloot. Oh, you know who did find a key, though, was Klauski. He still has a key, encrusted key, and has a polyloot. And it's going to find that ATG printer. And has and has a crowbar. Oh, he did and find APR. a key. And doesn't have the watch doesn't really have many uh whites like some of the other racers do right like big d has the triple crowbar as which was really good for phase uh two by the way uh mm -hmm. has the watch mm -hmm. the crit wait I mean, we'll see it's between big d and klauski for me right now oh yeah oh yeah yeah for sure for sure um, i mean klauski does white... have the uh the meat hook on top of everything and it also has the extra key but lurky with the just or not lurky uh big d with the the, the raw damage items that class doesn't have yet we're gonna see what this void item is it's pluripotent larva do you choose to oh. pick up the pluripotent no Klauski no says bands yes. here if you die yeah. once you're pretty much already screwed anyway i think it's a good choice you don't want to take a plus five on the loader that has that has polyloot and an atg maybe if you die on phase three right it's not the end of the world um, if you find a teddy bear, right, that could be a really good pickup now. Sadly, it's on stage four where white tri shops are no longer an option. Also, can I just point out Lurky doing the humane thing and full sending the ATG printer oh, yeah. as soon as he saw it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And if Appreciate. Lurky oh, doesn't have, it's never going to be able to get that uh, pluripotent, right? If Klauski finds that, right, you take. Triple polyloot, by the way, is the Whoa, boss item. It is a ukulele. God. And then there's a ukulele right next to that teleport. I mean, that's just insane value. Man. That is, that is absurd. If Klauski just goes all in on the greens, I don't know why you wouldn't all in on the greens. Look at Klauski's greens. What are you going to do with a Warhorn or, or a, 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 a Predatory Instinct? One singular shuriken. Right? A to be team. fair... He might be he might be on the lookout for the scrapper. He wants to save the feather if I if I know my the loader punches, you know, the alt punches. Surely the feather is uh, value, but you gotta question the decision. You lose the feather? I think it's still worth it. Right. Yeah. You lose yeah. a feather, but you gain even more giga damage. As yeah, yeah and, he's gonna see the, the double ukulele as as the as the polyloot triples in value. Even Lava Lucario, a little bit behind, gets the polyloot as well. Right, something that yeah, everyone yeah. has except for Lurky, but Lurky has some good base damage with the double APR, has the, the crowbar, has all of those ATGs, right? And can mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. leave the stage. And he's done with the TP. Or is he? No, he's not. Still has to do the stage for TP. Okay, okay. Oh, high roll, high roll, incident. Nice. ATG. One ATG. 10% where... done. Nice. And, and where where did Klauski get a Shustus? Uh, he typed in the command, exclamation mark Jackie. Uh, exclamation I don't know. Mark I don't know Jackie. what that was, but there is a Shattering Justice on this stage from a large chest, apparently. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Easy. Get in, get out, get the high rolls. Did not print ATG, sadly. Um, yeah, let's see if the rush is, is good enough. Besides Blower or Recycler, don't know what equipment you'd go with with Loader. Uh, for that, Wally, I would just say get even more Burst, get, just get some damage equipment in there. Maybe a, uh, uh, a Jade Elephant. Right? There's a lot of stuff you can do, a lot of utility. Um, anything can help. Ooh. Get a Prey on, even, for that initial hit, if you have a lot of Crowbars. It's all really good. By the way... Big D, I like what I'm seeing here. Does have the triple poly loot, does have some of the crit, some of the base damage, and just opts to full send the ATG. You know what's going to happen. It, it's little... so fun. It's so crazy. We were just watching a pause game for like 10 minutes or something, just 
constant timeout, timeout, timeout. And now, like, all the timeouts are over, and suddenly we're looking at stage five as Klauski's only 17 minutes into the run. And, oh. and, and, and there's a fire van on Big D. That's a phase four skip. When all in on the ATGs, it's going to come down to every second mattering at this point, right? I mean, Big D has so much damage, has the phase four skip and everything. But, 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 but Klauski's already done with the stage five boss and is just charging the TP. Mm -hmm. Right, 60, 70 percent done. Oh no! Like, I so mean, surely, how much, how much is that fire band really going to save you? Like, you got to catch up the real time with the Klauski, who's not only a little bit ahead in 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 real time, but look at the the timer, that 20, 30 second advantage from mm -hmm. having to restart a couple times. Well, I believe in the ATG high roll, sir. One high roll. Oh man. Big D, like, might pull ahead. Cannot take too long here on stage five. Surely, if you fall too far behind, sadly, nothing can be done. But and again, I'm liking deaths, the pace. Deaths also are super, like, unfortunate. Like, poor Lucario, only on stage three, has the death. Oh, yeah. About to die yeah. again from all these Shungite. Oh, my God. Right? One death, and it's not only look already really far behind, but now you're just almost borderline fighting for, for uh, even a completion for fourth. Uh, not wanting to get a double DNF, not on such a god run like this, right? Not the most optimal punch that you you woke up in the morning hoping you'd be playing, but <laughs> for I mean, real. Okay, Big D straight to the telly, cleared a couple ads, got some money, and is it's, it's off. just knuckle boom season. Look at that, one punch, boom, boom, Ooh. boom, boom, Ooh. dead. And now the elder Ooh. pops up. Look out for the elder. Oh, the oh, grandparents. My God, Big D. Oh wait, was that genius? Almost genius. The, the uh, oh, elder oh, didn't die, but that oh one, this other elder, did catch on fire and instead. Oh, but now oh, you're up in oh, the air. Big oh god, that's oh, a lot of fire oh, damage. Four applications of the sun damage. There's some more oh, baby, fire. Baby the Jesus, watch is don't. two health from being broken. Okay. While all that is happening, Klauski trying for the. There we go. Oh, that that looks clean, my boy. Oh, that's the loader skip. Yeah. yeah, that's the one I still don't know how to do because I'm bad. <laughs> oh yeah, same. I got, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta brush up on that. Honestly, yeah. we're washed, corny. <laughs> For real, we're casters <laughs> now. What's happening? Oh no, yeah, yeah, relegated. <laughs> you have been fired, demoted to to commentator. <laughs> well, you know what they say when when a, an athlete retires, they become a caster, right? They become a commentator. That's usually what yeah, happens, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, for real. But you're not even retired. You're still in this league. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm still trying, bro. Yeah, but we like, got your, we got your League heads. 4 stuff coming in uh, on Wednesday. Oh, nice. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, well, no comment. Surely no, no comment. comment. <laughs> uh -huh. Mr. Mr. 10 point double bonus both time. I see that. Sure. Uh, still sad. Still sad with the with the full loader, not like going in on that but like at the end of the day all gucci just having oh, ATG just like oh, oh my god oh uh, dude it's one it's one atg come on oh Versus the... that's why klauski only has the one atg it, it's crazy yeah. though it's like even without printing all those atgs those atg prints take time and oh yeah oh poor no. breach his internet oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the magnetic storm is just is taking the frames away clearly oh Nice frame on Lucario, the slideshow. Oh, there, there is a spaces. Oh, same Ooh. spaces. Okay. Yeah. So, Klauski needs to die twice, right? Or, if Big D really has it down, gets a couple good ATGs, a couple lucky yeah. uh, ones of that, right? To be good. I just feel bad for, for Big D, who didn't have uh, the other key, never found that second key, even with that discipline that Klauski found. Right? Oh, yeah. Big D could potentially be looking at seven uh, plasma shrimp on top of the poly loot. I almost feel like that oh, might yeah. be faster if you just like ended up dying and doing that. But you do miss out on the phase four skip. Right? Is oh, yeah. Like the. Nope. No, no to be found. Oh, oh my god. Klauski pu pushing the issue. Oh, jeez. Really getting harassed. Down to 90 health. If Klauski dies, uh, uh, it goes to Plasma Shrimp, it goes to Void Print. What else happens? Uh, nothing. Plasma Shrimp and Void Crit? 
Yeah, that's not bad. Not, that's a, bad, not a bad trade. Yeah, not a bad trade. Yeah. He can he can he can push all he wants. Yeah, it could be sadly doesn't have a, a bear though. Like a space is on top would be nice. Yeah, one teddy bear would have been real nice. You don't want to be too too aggressive though. You don't want to be like, oh I got this extra life. Extra lives are meant to be spent, right? Right? You want to try and, <laughs> yeah. and kind of hold on. So, because the second you lose that life, you don't want to die again. Right, we've seen that happen before where someone loses their DO and then just dies immediately after. When that happens, it's that's that's how you get five minutes added into a run. Which if again take one death if one pair of lazard swings are on you it's pretty much over for you to get first oh, place yeah. and klauski needs to do really good because big d here two point advantage two point lead klauski needs at least one bonus point for there to be a tiebreaker mm, big d not having any luck on the atgs that is good news for klauski but even being pressured he doesn't know he doesn't know brother oh my god Sorry, going into the yeah. Big yeah. D missing the punch, not good. Oh. Okay. Oh. I noticed that, that Klauski has an FMP. What's that even give? I think it just uh, gives more horn. So. Yeah. <laughs> Knuckle boom. Knuckle oh. boom. Um, yeah. look, I feel like the knuckle look, boom strat would be good with all the ATGs. Right? You just look at punch a bunch. Yeah, look at um Big D coming in. Maybe we get a couple more ATGs here. I don't know. Klaus was there a, was there really? a phase one ATG? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I blinked yeah. and, and Mythrix was gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I've been corrected by chat. There is a monster tooth. So that is healing value right there. <laughs> the massive. But Klauski, in terms of real time, right, still has that one death available. I almost feel like Klauski wants to die at this point to, uh, to be back at full health again. Oh, yeah. you mean half health, but either way. You know, I want to reset the... the, the uh, yeah, yeah, I know the, the, the curse. Yeah. Does have the monster tooth. Could suck a pizza there. Oh, nope. <laughs> Yeah, you can eat the pizza because you have monster teeth, right? <laughs> Surely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mythrix levels up. What? Yeah, he's believing. Oh my god. No. Knuckle boom, no. Hey. There we go. No knuckle boom skip. Almost dead. Oh, I would purposely well, kill myself before that. At least that. It's too late now. But, I mean, only 212 health. Something bad could happen if you don't have your extra life yet right now. You've got to be careful if you're Klauski. Oh, okay. He needs, you say, he needs the one bonus point at least to force a tiebreaker, right? Yes. And Big D is deathless right now. Almost done with phase two. If Big D just finishes mm -hmm. up and gets a second, but it might not be for second if, if uh, 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 Lurky, right? With all those base damage items, with the double crowbar, with the double APR, has nine ATGs also, right? Could oh be either God. one of them. To come in and if if uh, uh lurky ends up getting in second then big d gets in third right so lurky could help out but it's gonna need really bad atg luck from big d mm -mm -mm -mm. or to have big d die because klauski is done klauski is out klauski is going to get in first place assuming that he doesn't die twice trying to charge the ship okay we got pizza coming in for big d oh my oh, god big d that was even risky. being aggressive oh massive Massive. Loses the safer spaces, but you know that's what safer spaces is for, right? L look at the HP. That was an ATG. That's done. Oh my god! I that. didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. Wow. Yeah. Two, two, eight, two ATGs back to back, cementing the win. Is this it? Oh my god. Well, I think that's gonna do it because Big D just has to punch a few times. Does cannot die on phase four here. But it's looking True. fine. I mean, I don't even know how. I mean, if he gets tickled by anything, right? If one needle hits. Oh, wait, he oh, got the ATG oh. back. Okay, I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah with the, the, the Giga I... ATG value from printing all that, from losing the feather and, and all the other garbage greens that he had. Boom. Base ward's done. Big D's going to be able to get out of here. Uh, sub 30 is going to do enough to deny any bonus points for Klauski. Lurky unable to finish the Mythrix fight, still on phase one. And gets an ATG, but Mythrix runs away. And the ATG hits him. Nice. And there we go. 
He uses the feather, is in. And yeah, he's he's typing about the bad RNG with the ATGs. ATG comes in the last second when it doesn't matter. <laughs> Don't you just love ATG and loadouts like this? It comes down to like pure RNG. <laughs> uh, <Yeah. laughs> got a feel for that. All right. And Klauski finishes up with a 26 uh, 55 and will come in first place for this loadout. GG Klauski. Gigi. Nice play on Klauski. Um, yeah, just pushing the issue. Ever since getting the sentient meat hook was like, yeah, I don't need this. I don't need to worry about anything. Just straight up, straight up. Oh, oh poor Lurky. Losing the watch. Yeah. About to die from all these wisps. Up in the air, takes a death. Yeah. And, I mean, opens up a little ground for for, uh, for Lava Lucario here. Right? It, there could be a double death. Right? Just kind of tilted off the ATG luck. Uh, really not handling these wisps that well. Taking a lot of shots. Lucario hasn't activated the TP yet. Oh, I, I well, mean, full looting. Full looting to the yeah. end. But um, There's a 26 look. or 27. Oh, there's a double. Oh. I think he got stuck from a quick pair. What was that? It might have just been uh, stuck from, from uh, Thunder Gauntlet. An epic Thunder Gauntlet. Classic. Can you read uh, uh, Big Beast Time, by the way? Oh, yeah. Um, wait. It's uh, 20, 20, 20, wait, 20. Can I, though? 28? Is it like a 20, 28, 19? 19? I think that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we can that. Yeah, yeah. I'll double check it afterwards, but all I know is that Klauski is guaranteed first place. And yeah, uh, yeah. Big D's guaranteed second place. So we'll go ahead and hand those out now. While uh, Lurky is, is really struggling with phase two here, and while Lava is is having a little bit of difficulty on stage uh, five as well. Mm. Here are my standings. Here they are. Klauski, a little... really good run from Klauski. Two sub 30s with this loadout. Yeah. Okay. That's good stuff. Love to see some good, clean, competitive loader. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lurky taking the bad side now. Has to, well, has a has a slug, but a lot of pressure here. Good ATGs coming out, but still, yeah. oh my god. They're just hitting enemies that are almost dead, right? Lurky's gotten next to no value from the nine ATGs, and, and Big D had just a completely different uh, setup. And the yeah. reason for that being, when you have polyloot, polyloot has a pretty good proc coefficient. What is it, 0.6? Wait, right, the polyloots just go boom, 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 boom. You get like 12 yeah. attempts to roll that ATG. All right, so you just get so many more, as opposed to, to the Thunder Punch loader, where it's like, I will punch every like eight seconds or so, every six seconds and so, and there's a 10% chance when I punch a missile will fly out and deal damage. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, I need to take... I need oh, to yeah, answer the door. I'll be back. I'll be yeah. back. Polly's a point two proc. Oh, I'm thinking. God, I'm sorry. I thought that's plasma shrimp, not Polly. Are you kidding me? They're not both point two. Oh, sixty percent total damage. Okay, that makes more sense. Even then, though, right? If you have three poly elites, I mean, the chance, like, the chance to, to pull those out is still there. And it gets 60% damage if one does uh, proc an ATG. You have, like, three polyleads, right? That's, what, like, nine applications, nine attempts, 0.2? That's, like, tripling your chances almost. Lurky finally finishing phase two, by the way. Takes, oh, God, steps in the exploder guts for a little bit. And just already starts phase three off at 260 health. Mythrix needs to get down to 75% HP before anything will even happen. And the Lurky's just like, how can I heal? What can I do? I have one slug. I cannot take a death. Gets a punch. No ATG. Oh, God. You got to be really careful. Go ahead and uh, bring in this other screen here, by the way, as... It's just down to these two racers here. Time to complete is, I believe, 66.55. We'll get that on there. Wait, so like there. I gotta like get a, a spot to put the chat. Uh, the time to complete sign. Yeah. 
And oh my god, almost getting hit by that Metrix hammer. Is it, is it arcs a, a full 180 degrees? Really just struggling. Rookie trying to find that one ATG, trying to find that that damage that'll get Mythrix at 75% threshold. Finally lands it, and Mythrix is going to go back up, and Pizza is now present in the Mythrix arena. It's now being served, and we'll see what Lurky can do with Pizza in play. Can't really punch Mythrix that easily without a backup mag or, or some like solution middle of Pizza, especially with a bunch of Explorers coming in. I'm right, just going to try that, and Lucario, as I wasn't looking, takes a death. Oh man, also with the 9 ATGs, with the 3 polyloids, has a very similar build, 4 crowbars even, but Lurky now also taking a depth. Just just back to back penalties, as, as both of them are, are getting harassed by, by various things, whether it be Mythrix, whether it be Exploders, whether it be Ras Contraptions or, or Lesser Wisps. Right, just so many things, and Lucario in deep trouble again. Lurky just not his day, having been so good in the seventh seed, who was hoping to maybe hold on to that first round buy. Right now, just trying to fight for some some raw points here. As, as third place is is mostly solidified. Phase four beginning. But if something really bad happens here, right, there's still a chance for Lava Lucario to come back. We have phase four. Lurky's gonna go in for the punch, land something. It's not much, not enough to get Mythrix down to slam. That was, though, thankfully. I believe you have to get Mythrix down to 85% health and he starts slamming the ground. Something like that. Oh. No AT. Oh, 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 are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The one time the ATGs are going to proc. It's not against Mythrix, it's against Lurky. And Lurky has another death now. Now tied up with Lava Lucario. Will that happen again? No, it won't because the ATGs are back. But oh my god. Could you be in a more frustrating situation right now than Lurky? You're kidding, you're telling me that all of those times, all of those chances for Mythrix to take some damn damage, some goddamn damage from those ATGs, and nope, it has to be himself. Oh, man. Goes for the, uh, the swing around the world here. Goes around the arena. And at least has a good landing. GG's for uh, Lurky. Looking like he's going to be able to get in, in uh, third place, assuming no uh, concede happens last second, which I highly doubt. Assuming no grubbing happens. Uh, Lurky is at full health. It's only, what, 35 minutes of real time? Not too bad. I am back, sir. What did I miss? Uh, you missed an ATG that did massive damage to Lurky, like and Lurky died on page 4. Oh, to Lurky, The one no, time man. it procced, Corny. The one time. Uh, nine ATGs off of a point, point, point zero zero one damage. Just, yep, nope, yep. you're going down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh Cario making it to, uh, to the, the moon, though. Gonna get to see some Mythrix, maybe. Right? Has 15 minutes to finish. As Lorky finishes up, we can go ahead and, and pull up uh, Cario on the big screen. Um, and again, GG's to, to Lorky. Just not his day today. Uh, it's gonna be coming in a third overall for this race. For Lava, though, right, is going to get in fourth. But has a chance, has an opportunity with three polyloids and nine ATGs, might get some better RNG. Right? We could see something happen here. You just gotta know your Mythrix fight. You gotta play it well. Right? Already with, with a few deaths, you can't take too many more. Uh, you think the key is a, is a search at this point? I don't know. Mm, I think there's not time. I think... If there's going to be a death, which they're probably, right? We, we've seen yeah. Lava in the past. Yeah. Once yeah. to, like, if, if you're going to end up taking one death, you got to go fast. You got to go really fast. And you've already got, what? You got an Opal. You've got three Polyloot. You've got nine ATG. Why is a Shattering Justice soup? Don't want to give... <laughs> Go into that. Wait. Don't want to go into any soups. Like any of these soups that you find aren't really going to be of any value. There's an energy drink soup, but you don't even have a red. 
right? So, mm. so the suit search Expensive. it's gonna prove to to not really do much, and um, I don't think that's gonna get very far. At least gets you closer to the to the uh, the arena. Well, We'll see how we can do the skip. You just got to take it slowly here, right? A lot of times yeah. we like to try and be fancy and do quick stuff, but... There we go. Re just find your comfort spot. Find cooldown. your comfort position. Yeah. I know uh, Lava's a little new with this loadout. Right, he's used to the charge punch for point loader. Oh. And thunder punch, you got to you gotta be a lot more accurate. You got to know about the, the weird collisions of the... Uh, of the, the arena hand, the arena tree. Yeah, it's, 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 it's getting it done. Getting it done. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. yeah, it pretty much has it down at this point. Not too bad on time either, right? I think we've seen some loader incidents where like people try to use the host skip. Oh, it even has a backup mag. That's good. I think that's a really good help. Yeah, yeah look at that. Well done. All right. That puts us at a uh, 13 minutes. Surely, surely some good ATGs. Yeah, with some good ATGs, some good stuff can happen. Uh, causes for concern for Lucario right now. Only healing is natural regen, right? Which the good Ooh. news about natural regen. I mean, look at that. It's like three health per second. And then you have scrap barrier. Um, so that can help. Other than that, it's just monster tooth. There's no FMP with the monster tooth, so no healing there. Oh, good polyloot. Look at that. See? See what I was talking about? Ooh, polyloot? It's yeah, actually a point, yeah. It's a 0.2 proc coefficient. I'm, this whole time, I always thought it was a 0.6. I'm like, man, why is this polyloot so OP with the proc coefficient? That makes sense. And there's another oh, ATG. Big ATG. Oh, my Ooh. God. If you're Lurky and you're watching this right now, you'd be so mad. You'd be so mad. Yeah. If Lurky, <laughs> if you're out there, I'm sorry. I am so sorry yeah. for you. <laughs> that is huge value for, for Lucario, though. For having a chance of getting into, into a, a, a placement, but... Getting harassed by this Wisps, you gotta take cover, you gotta be careful. There's a little bit of lag going on. There's gonna be a timeout called. And I think I remember hearing something about full screen happening at the end to try and reduce the lag. Mm. ATGs for life, let's do it. ATGs for life. <laughs> Alright, nice punch. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, we're, we are raising. Oh. Good RNG. There we go. Polyloot proc. I almost feel like there's a there's a, a clover in here. It doesn't have to be right? all of them. Yeah, it has to be one. Just one. That's all Ooh, we need. There we huge go. Huge ATG. Oh. I think it actually hit the ground though. <laughs> and I, it looked like it was gonna hit something else, right? Oh god, it doesn't have. <laughs> already, but it has the DML, and then you know what's good about the DML? Pretty okay proc coefficient. Mm -hmm. I think it's a 1.0, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Is oh, it, it's getting hit by exploders. You cannot afford that. If you only got 10 minutes, you only afford one death, and you want to try and hold on for that death until it's like phase three or so. Come on, Lava. I know you got it in you. Oh, no. Oh, oh barely God. alive thanks to Opal. <laughs> Coming in clutch. Come on, don't let that ATG be in vain. Oh, man. Yeah. Like you need you need one good one on Mythrix. You need one good one. Oh my god. Oh oh doesn't have thunder slam. Oh the exploders. Oh you gotta be careful. Oh no, this is it. This is it. Not on the wall. At least oh yeah, there we go. DML, they're all gonna hit the walls. I think one hit. Oh no, they're hitting. That's good, that's good. I think it was a poly lead. And it's timeout number nine, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Can we go the full ten? Find out now. Double digit timeouts. Mm -hmm. The loadouts and, and now we've seen a lot of good stuff from, from Big D. And we saw even more of that here today. Right? I mean, to be fair, it was a little bit of a lucky RNG roll with the head stompers and keeping the bands. Oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah. For but, real. I mean, even then, the other racers just had so much so many watches, so many other things, and oh god. Oh. No. All that prep time. Hey. And now Lava is on thin ice. We'll need to get really good ATG value here. Come on. It has, what, like four minutes? Oh, it's dealing with this one exploder. Can't hit it. Oh, oh. my goodness. I...
Come on, come on. ATG, ATG, right off the gate. Well, right off the gate, nope. Doesn't nope. get the ATG. Had four crowbars, so that's pretty good. Initial hit. Uh, and I don't know if Lava's got it in him to dodge these ads for so long. We'll mm -hmm. see. Goes for the punch, misses. Okay. Oh, it's still yep, fine, yep, right? Tough. As long as the ATG can get it there. And when it does, it's really going to need to hit Mythrix. But one ATG will just about finish him off. I think it'll bring him down to like 20% or so HP. Probably, yeah. Right, and even it, there's more things that can happen too. There's Polyloot. There's uh, crit. There's yeah. There's a couple ATGs. We'll deal with some of the ads. And oh god, oh god, come on, come on, three minutes. Risky, risky. Cannot risky. die. Punch? Nope. Mm. Oh god, don't you love thunder punch? Setting you up in the best of situations. Oh my I god. I don't even know what's Truly. happening now. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> Mythrix taking advantage Wait. on a rock. Oh, gaming. Oh, he's gaming. Uh, he's, he's taking My God. Hits. Yeah. And. Oof. Oh, this is it. Well, did not no, get it. Not he gets like, punished for it, right? Not, Thunder Punch, you not, cannot get away with things like that if you're going head on. No ATG there. That's going like, to be death. Oh, no. That's going to be like death. This. And I think oh, yeah. I saw a missile oh. pop up after he died. I don't know if that was a mm. good one or not, but. But just really close and, and still some, some work to be done for, for Lava here. Right, coming out with another double DNF is, is going to have to fight hard uh, in the next few weeks here as, again, week five's coming up. Only got three weeks to, to, to land a couple good wins to, to find a spot in the tournament. And we'll see if, if he can do it in the future, but looks like it's not going to be this week. Again, GG's had some, had some good moments, but still just has a little bit to work on. GG, nice try, nice try.